So once again, I've gone ahead and packed a whole bunch of Team of the Season cards. And when I do that, like I said in yesterday's video, I want to showcase them. I want to put them in a squad and I want to show it to you guys. So we're going ahead with the Tots Denver Bar squad. I've got a whole bunch of Team of the Seasons in this squad and it's a pretty nice team, I really must admit. Uh, we've got Courtois in goal today. I'm going to be playing him on seven chemistry. Now, I'd never, never, ever do that in squad builders. Um, but the reason being is because... Because I've got two Celtic centre backs, and their goalkeeper one is extinct on the market, and two he's a non-rare silver goalkeeper, and it's just much better to play a seven chem Courtois in goal. Trust me. Uh, we've got Felipe Luis at left back today. Does a very good job, and I like him a lot. If you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button on today's video, that'd be absolutely. Awesome. We've got Sari Oglu at right back today. A silver guy. Plays for Galatasaray and he's got a lot of pace and actually does a very good job. I guess pace means quite a lot. Um, but this is the first of our two Celtic centre-backs. Team of the season, Van Dyke. He's 80 rated. He's got 74 pace, 82 defending and 88 physical. He's six foot four. And he's an absolute brick wall. I love him. And then this guy. Look at his stats. He's bronze. It's ridiculous. 64 rated Danaya. 81 pace. 70 defending and 80 physical. Honestly, one of the best centre-backs I've ever used. He just feels so rapid. And he does a great job. Um, the midfield is kind of awesome as well. We've got two very, very hard-working players. And then a great player at CDM. We've got Ramirez today. He is one of those hard-working players up and down the pitch. He literally doesn't stop. Uh, we've then got Inform Felipe Melo, who is another absolutely fantastic player on this game. Uh, decent work rates for that sort of holding midfielder type role. Uh, and... 70 plus stats in every category. He's a god. And then we've got this guy. Stefan Johansson. Team of the season. Again for Celtic. So we've got a bronze, silver and a gold Celtic tots in this squad. Look at his stats for a silver. They're off the chain. And also, he's so, so good. He's actually everywhere on the pitch. And I really enjoy using him. He's probably my second favourite player in this entire squad. Literally, every moment I was using him, I was loving it. Uh, we've then got Torre or Tor, however you like to pronounce that name. At right wing. He was one of the players that stood out for me. Was it in the Champions League earlier on in the season? And I really wanted to use him on FIFA ever since. He does a good job and he's very, very technical and a good player. We then got Sadio Mane and we've got his record breaker card. You guys know I packed this man. And I, ever since I saw him and Demba Bar were both Senegalese, I thought, you know what? I've got to link them up somehow. And the main man of the episode is Demba Bar. I packed this guy yesterday. He's got 82 pace and dribbling, 87 shooting and 84 feet. Physical. He's six foot two, decent work rates, and he's an absolute brute. Really, really good card on this game. Uh, imagine if you like, if, even if you like stat boosted him or something like that. Christ, it would be unstoppable. This team in total costs around the half a milli mark. Uh, I'm sure that will change. A lot of these players are at their minimum price caps. So uh, whenever EA update the price ranges, you guys will be able to get it even cheaper. Um, but I just, I just really enjoyed uh, two aspects of this team. One was uh, that Celtic trio. Danea, Van Dijk and Johansson. They were literally so much fun to use. And I've never used like bronze, silver, gold in the same squad. Well, I don't do it very often. And this team of the season versions, they literally played like they were all solid gold players. It was awesome. Uh, and the other aspect I liked was the whole Mane and Demba Bar link up front. Demba Bar's an absolute hero. Uh, Mane's very, very good as well. He's the sort of player which people just can't catch. He's literally so quick. His dribbling is so immense. Uh, and for such a low-rated player, it's really, really awesome to see that they've given him these great stats. But of course, the main man of the episode, my main goal scorer was Demba Bar. I actually thought he was so clinical. It was, it was unfair almost. He was in the right position the majority of the time, scoring over a goal a match for me. I had games where people were quitting at nil-nil for some reason last night, which was a bit strange, um, but therefore that means he scored generally two or even a hat-trick per game, which was quite impressive to see. Uh, I've got to say his heading ability is second to none. Uh, I don't often play it down the wing, uh, but when I'm coming up against tougher opponents, obviously it pushes you out wide, and the only option is to, uh, to, to cross that into your main striker. And when you've got Demba Bar up front, you're going to score a whole bunch of headers. Like, seriously, just look at these all in a row. Um, he's got such power, and he just beats the defenders in the air. He's obviously got decent jumping or just good timing and stuff like that, and obviously very, very good heading accuracy and power. Um, 
But he is a very, very powerful player. He's the sort of one that's going to, you know, when that ball goes over the top and him and defender are running at it at the same sort of pace, he's going to push him off. Uh, and when he's there, he's going to be in front of goal pretty much all on his own. Like right here, look at his strength to hold off that defender. He had decent dribbling to turn him as well. And then he had the clinicalness just to finish that. Like I'll show you right here again. A couple of nice bits of dribbling, good strength and just such a good finish. I really enjoyed him and I think he's relatively cheap as well. So give him a go if you got the coins. Um, trust me, I think you'll really enjoy it. He's a little bit difficult to fit into a squad. This was the last goal, my favourite goal of the episode. A lovely ball over, good touch and an absolute bang. If you've enjoyed the video guys, please don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here. I thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace. Peace.